The combination of low cardiac output and aortic stenosis, or so-called low-flow aortic stenosis, is difficult to treat clinically, and whether valve replacement actually helps is controversial. Now in Jack is a report of patients from the PARTNER trial who fit into the low-flow aortic stenosis category. Remember the PARTNER trial randomized inoperable patients with severe AS to medical management versus transcatheter aortic valve replacement and randomized a high-risk cohort to surgery, or TAVR. Among more than 900 patients, low flow was present in about half, low flow and ejection fraction in about a quarter, and low flow, low EF, and low mean gradient in only 15%. Here's the outcome of those patients. Two-year mortality was significantly higher in patients with low flow compared with normal flow, but in the inoperable cohort, patients with low flow had higher mortality than those with normal flow, but both groups improved with TAVR. In the high-risk operable cohort, there was no difference between TAVR and surgical aortic valve replacement. Finally, in patients with low flow and low gradient but preserved EF, TAVR reduced one-year mortality from 66% to 35%. Ejection fraction was an independent predictor of mortality in all patient groups, whereas ejection fraction and gradient were not. The bottom line is this. Low flow is common in severe AS and independently predicts mortality, but for patients with low flow, survival is improved with transcatheter aortic valve replacement and similar in outcome with TAVR and surgical valve replacement. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.